Hello 7th and 8th graders, how are you? I'm looking forward to seeing you soon online this coming week. Now let's take a look at what we're going to do today. Today I'm going to give you some tips to work on your speaking part of the guide of the, of the workshop and also I would like to review some grammar points. I'm going to review simple present, simple past and present perfect. So let's get to it. Let's remember that simple present expresses routines and habits. And here we have the grammar to make affirmative sentences, negative sentences, yes no questions, and WH questions. So a clear example of an affirmative sentence is she reads a lot. Remember we add an S when the person we're talking about is the third person singular like she, he, or it. In negative, we're going to use does for she, he, and it. She doesn't watch TV. And for question, remember the auxiliary verb goes to this position, okay? It comes from here to this first position. And we have does she watch TV? What does she read? The WH question. So, in one of the points of the guide, the last point, you're going to describe your own routine. Okay, so this is me, your English teacher. This is my routine. I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I do aerobics and then I go to work at 7.30 a.m. Okay, that's a summary of my morning routine. Now, let's compare this routine with the third person singular. Mine goes like this, I wake up. But when I say she, it's gonna be she wakes up. You can see the S in yellow. So I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. She wakes up at 6 a.m. every day. I do aerobics. She does aerobics. And then I go to work at 7.30 a.m. And then she goes to work at 7.30 a.m. So this is how it works with the S, okay? We just add an S at the end of the verb. When the verb ends in a vowel like do or go, we're going to write ES, does and goes. Now let's take a look at the conjugation. For the pronouns I, the conjugation for verb to be is am. For you, we, they, for verb to be is are. For he, she, it, the conjugation is is. Now, for all the other verbs in the world, all the actions in English, with one exception, to be, all the actions have the following conjugation in simple present. I'm going to use the verb read as an example. And I say, I read. You read, we read, they read. Now, for the third person singular, he reads, she reads, it reads. Okay, don't forget that S at the end. Now, if I, instead of using a pronoun, I use a noun. I can say, for example, Jonathan reads. Mariana reads. My cat reads. No, it doesn't. Okay, let's continue. Simple present. Again, affirmative sentences. You say, I like music. Negative, I don't like onions. Question. Do I like theater? It's a yes, no question. Now for the third person singular, we have he runs fast. We have the S in yellow. For negative, we're gonna use does, so he doesn't run fast. And for the question, does he run fast? So here we have a tip. Affirmative sentences, he, she, and it add an S at the end of the verb. For negative, I, you, we, and they use don't, while he, she, it use doesn't. So remember this. I know you have seen this like a million times. So this is just a quick review. When you make questions, remember I, you, we, and they use do, and he, she, it use does. Now quiz time. Let's see if you understood this correctly. So, correct the mistakes. Take a look at this screen for, say, for 10 seconds and try to correct the mistakes.
Okay, now let's see the corrections. Let's check your answers. The first one was wrong. We were missing the S. She works in the morning. The second one, it wasn't doesn't, it was don't. I don't sleep in. Huh, the conjugation of study with we is we study. The question, does she run fast? Does it work? So let's compare. There we go. That was simple present. Now let's move on to simple past. Okay, simple past expresses finished actions in the past. And there is only one form of the verbs for all persons. That means I can say, I went to the park yesterday. I can say, I went, you went, we went, they went, she went, it went. It's the same conjugation for all the verbs. Now let's take a look at this story and I'm going to use this painting. I'm not sure who the painter is. So if you can find the name of the painter, let me know in the comment section. Now, simple past. Last Monday, she wrote a letter. Then she fell asleep. And then she dreamt. She had lots of strange dreams. And then she woke up. She was happy. Okay, probably not the best story ever written, but it's just an example of simple past. Try to practice, try to write your own stories and use any picture as a cue or as inspiration to write your story. Now let me continue with simple past here. We're gonna take a look at the conjugation. There is one difference when you use to be verb, okay? With to be is different. I say I was, he was, she was, it was. With you, we and they, I say were. So I can say I was in the park, you were at school. He was in the park, we were at work. With all the other verbs, the conjugation is the same. It's I played, you played, she played, he played, they played. It is the same. It is exactly the same. So let's take a look at the grammar here. It's the same for all the pronouns with the difference of to be verb as we saw before. Let's take a look at the tips here. Same verb, same verb form for all pronouns. All pronouns use didn't for negative. Again, instead of to be verb, it's gonna be wasn't and weren't. And for questions, it's gonna be did. Now, regular and irregular verbs. That's the thing in simple past. We need to start learning some verbs. The regular ones are very easy. Okay, now let's take a look at present perfect and simple past. So um, this example we have, I love to travel. I have been to more than 10 countries. Do you remember we practiced this in class, present perfect? I have been to Santa Marta, I have been to Spain, I have been to the US. And then we practiced more questions in simple past. Okay, today we're gonna review that a little bit. So. Um, the present perfect refers to actions that have happened some time before now. So I have been to more than 10 countries, that's in the past for sure, but we don't know exactly when. Now the present perfect is formed by have or has plus ed or past participle. I have these examples. I have walked to school a few times. We don't say when, but we know it's in the past. She has skated on Lake Washington. Again, we don't specify when it was in the past. And also, it might happen again in the future. It's not a finished action. So he's discovered how to study efficiently. He can make more discoveries in the future. So present perfect, she has already finished her homework. It's an activity that happened at an indefinite time in the past. Did homework and now, but we don't specify when it happened. And again, we say has because like we saw in simple present, the conjugation for have is I have, you have, we have, they have, she has, he has, it has. Now affirmative and negative. I have been to Paris, I have not been to Paris. He has been to Paris, he has not been to Paris. We have more examples. They, they have been to many interesting places. 
She has not been to North America. The question form, again, we put the auxiliary verb at the beginning and that's it. Have I been to Africa? Have you been to Africa? Have we been to Africa? Or has he been to Africa? Has she been to Africa? Then here we have some more examples. And we're going to take a look at some irregular past participles. So be becomes been, begin, begun, break, broke, buy, bought, come, come, stay the same, cost, cost, drink, drunk, eat, eaten, no, known, make, made, pay, paid, see, seen, take, taken, think, thought, understand, understood, wear, worn. So the present perfect it's commonly used to express an experience as part of someone's life. So if the person is alive, they can talk about past experiences using present perfect. Okay, I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, send me a message through the online platform or just write your question on the comment section of this video. Now, let's talk about the last point of the guide, which is on speaking on speaking you're going to answer three questions so i'm going to show you the examples question number one okay during the week i wake up at 7 a.m i go to school i have classes i have lunch i play with my friends then i go home and i do some homework or i watch a movie or play video games now a friend of mine a friend of mine um he studies medicine so he goes he studies at the university he goes to the university at 7 a.m i think and he goes back home at about 3 or 4 p.m then he studies at home he has to read a lot he watches videos about anatomy and other things and then he goes to bed at about 10 or 11 30 p.m now question number two what did you do on your last vacation okay Last time I had vacations, I stayed home. I stayed in my hometown, La Mesa. I went out with my family. We had lunch out and we also went to this river in San Javier. We, we celebrated Christmas together and New Year's Eve together. And we also gave, we also gave each other presents. That was an example of my last vacation. Now, third question is, what places have you been to and what I did there? Okay, I have been to different places. Uh, for example, I have been to Medellin. I always make that example. And in Medellin, I visited uh, Pueblito Paisa. I went to the zoo. No, I didn't go to the zoo. I don't like zoos. I went to the planetarium and I went to this other God place with plants and trees. I think it's a botanic garden. I'm not sure. And I also visited some family there. And oh gosh, I'm, I'm having trouble remembering. And I had bandeja paisa a lot and I ate many different things there. That's it. So now I hope this is going to help you with your guides, with your videos. So um, please record them, keep working hard, and I'm looking forward to seeing you online. Have a nice day.